The new Windows Laps feature is really simple to get up and running and really simple to use. You just head into Intune, go to Devices, find the device, and then choose Show Local Admin Password. That's nice and simple to do, right? But what if you're walking down a corridor and someone grabs you saying they need to get into their computer and you need to get the Laps password? You can't run back to your desk, you can't bring your laptop over, you just need to get it there and then. Do you call someone and ask for help? What if you don't know the, the, the user's device name? All those questions come into play when you actually start using LAPS in real life. And that's the idea behind this blog post by Mo. So if we take a look at what he's saying, his idea is to create a power app that uses Microsoft Graph in the background to pull that information from Intune and present it to the admin on their phone. Let's take a look at how it works. We're going to need a few prerequisites. The first is an Azure subscription to create a VM. Now this is a, feels a little bit overkill and maybe it is when we start looking at the, the details behind this, but for now, let's go with the flow. We're gonna use a hybrid worker automation account, which means we need an Azure VM in the background. And we're also gonna use an automation account, some registered apps, we're gonna use power apps, which means you need a plan two license for the premium connector. You need workload identities premium as well if you're gonna secure this via conditional access. Let's just get started and see how this all works and see if it's worth doing. So first we're gonna create an Azure VM. Now I'm, I'm, you can see I'm running through this blog post. It's very detailed and very clear how this works, but I'm a video person. So I'm gonna go through this with you step-by-step step right now. So as you can see, we're gonna create uh, an Azure VM. So this one here, I've got a VM and it is, well, it's running, right? It's, it's a standard virtual machine. I've called it Lapse Automator because you know, Sound like a good idea. Uh, and let me just grab the VM itself. You need to install the graph, the MS graph uh, PowerShell module. So I'm not gonna do it again, but you can see in the guide, it says install the graph PowerShell module by running these two commands here. Nice and simple, I'm sure you can do that. Once you've done that, move on. We're gonna register an app. Now, very simple, head into Azure AD, Go down to app registrations and choose new registration and follow the details in this blog. We want to create a, a registered app called Intune Devices. Doesn't need to be that, but let's just do that for the sake of following the guide. And these are the permissions we need to give to this app in the API permissions. Don't forget to grant admin consent when you're doing that. So once you've done that one, you need to create a second application and this one we're going to call Windows Laps and we need to give these permissions here and that is device read all and device credential read all. Again, don't forget to grant admin consent when you're done. I did when I was testing this out. So next we need to create an automation account. So again, very simple, head over to Azure, go into automation accounts and create a new automation account. You can see the one I've got here. Now I'm running through this with you so that you can see this in detail. As I click through, you could maybe pause it and see exactly what settings are set because I found it was quite uh, difficult to follow just the pictures in that static blog post, but hopefully this will help you out. So as you can see, we've got a automation account right here and it says that we need to create a hybrid worker group. So we do that by going down to hybrid worker groups and choosing create hybrid worker group and tapping in a name for it and selecting the virtual machines. Now, as you can see here, there are no virtual machines for me to choose. So if I go back, the reason there are no VMs is because I've already created one and it's working and there's the hybrid worker group right there. And you can see in the hybrid worker group, we have Laps Automator, that virtual machine that I have. Once you add the virtual machine, it takes a little while to install the extensions, but after a little while, it's all good to go. We're using a default hybrid worker credentials right here. Okay, so once we've done that, we create a PowerShell runbook within the automation account. So back to runbooks, I ran a test runbook and the details of where you get the code for this are in that blog post, but essentially it's on his GitHub here. Uh, we're gonna do a little test. So let's do this little test. We will go to edit. And this is the code. There's my tenant ID, client ID in secret. And we are going to do a little test here and start it. 
mm, actually make sure make sure you don't do that we're going to go back to test choose hybrid worker make sure you've got the hybrid worker chosen and once it's finished i'll restart that and we should hopefully see you welcome to microsoft graph there you go so that's all this test one does it just verifies the connection to the hybrid worker the next one we've got is over here again grab the code from the um the github but we're going to use this run laps one here and in the edit you can see that we've got a very similar set of um information make sure you use the the client id and the secret from the second application that you built because that's the uh the one that will do the actual getting of the um of the credentials but as you can see right here we, we just add a little bit more information here a little bit more code here to grab the actual password rather than in the test and so we can't actually test this one just hit publish get this one published in the future we can test it and we might test it in la later on if this doesn't work but for now that's all you need to do so once you've built that we're going to go into power automate and we need to grab windows lap step one from his github Power Automate is this one over here, and you can see I've imported Windows Labs Step 1 here. I'm going to choose Edit and show you the content of that in case the import doesn't work or in case you get stuck. There's nothing in Power Apps at all because it just takes the information from the Power App. In Get User, this should be already preset, but it's Get User. Then HTTP, we have this information here. I did need to add this information, the tenant ID, the client ID, and the secret, because they weren't pulled from anywhere else. So I've done that. I've added those in. Then we pass the JSON, and that's the information there. And then finally, we send a response back as a value to, well, it's just a response back out of this. And so once we've done that, head back to the blog post, and we can, oh, look, he's called me out. We can... Um, we can grab Windows Lab Step 2, which doesn't work on an import for some reason, so we have to create that from scratch. Again, step-by-step -step instructions here how to create it. What I'll do is show you how it looks when you create it, which is back in flows, Windows Labs Step 2. I'll choose Edit. And obviously I've already built this one, but when you're doing it from scratch, these are the settings you need. Compose, set Compose inputs from the Power Apps Step Create job, here's the information I added and it's all in the blog post, it makes a lot of sense. Just create outputs, the parameter for outputs from the previous step. In the get job output, very simple, add this information here and use the job ID. Then compose, need to do a little bit of replacing and uh, change the, remove the welcome to Microsoft graph line that gets added when you start any Microsoft Graph code. Um, so we just use this bit here. Let me just scroll to the right. We just replace Welcome to Microsoft Graph with nothing. So it's... Uh, where's the replace? It is string replace text, old text, new text. So there's the old text and there's the new text. Works very well. So once we've done that, we then head back to the blog post. That's that done. And now we can import the Power App. So we grab the Power App, go to Apps, Import Canvas App, and just upload that app that you download from Mo's GitHub. Once you've uploaded it, take a quick look through this. You need to specify Create as New and it'll create a new Power App for you rather than trying to find Mo's one. Then we need to update Windows Lab Step 1 and then also add the Azure AD connection for your tenant. Then after updating the, uh, the after importing the app, we can set these connections, allow these connections to work, and then we have to add, finally, this flow to the Power App by choosing this flow button and then choosing Windows Lab Step 2. And that's it. And so now we're going to take a look at how it works. So over to Power Apps. I've already done all of that. I'm just going to go into Edit. And there is the Power App. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. 
And what you can see is that we have a, a field here for finding the items, and you'll see what that means in a minute. You, and then we have a field here on the right hand side for the output of that, and then find the device and get laps. Let's play this and see how it works. So on the left hand side, we've got find items. As you can see, we have a scrollable list here of the users that are found within the environment. Let's find me. Now there's two of me, so that's not ideal, but I found the right one, dean at lastcoffee.co.uk. I will choose find the device. And if, after a few seconds, it will pick up the two devices that are registered to me within the tenant. And I have the Alienware and I have my VM zero. Now, if I choose get laps, it will go away and query Azure AD and pull back the laps admin password for us. And after literally five or six seconds, you can see the laps admin password is populated. Very simple to publish this application, get it out to your admins and see if they can use it to get laps admin passwords. Now, obviously you should, you can and should secure this using conditional access and the information is in Mo's blog post as to how to do that. I think this is just the start of how much we can leverage Microsoft Graph to automate some things and make the interface for our admins easier. You know, maybe a, a Teams app or, or a Teams uh, dynamic card or something to, to allow admins to query Intune without actually having to go into Intune. Massive shout out to Andrew Taylor because he pointed me at the blog post from Mo. And I think this is an awesome solution. So thanks, Mo. See you next time.